Welcome to this instructional video for the King Korg Editor from SoundTower. First, let's look at the menus. Under the King Korg Editor, you will find Preferences. Here you can select whether your mouse wheel will increase values by scrolling up or scrolling down. You can also choose how the knob values are adjusted on the editor. When you set to circular, you have to click and drag in a circular motion to adjust the value. If you need to make finer value changes, drag in a larger arc. If you choose linear vertical motion, only vertical motion will adjust the value. If you choose linear vertical horizontal, you can adjust the value with both vertical and horizontal motion. Under the file menu, you will find load and save King Korg data. This allows you to save and load the entire King Korg to your computer. This is accomplished with standard file management operations. Select Save King Korg Data, name the file, and select a location. If you needed to retrieve that file for any reason, such as loading up a rental King Korg provided as part of a backline, you would select Load King Korg Data and retrieve the file. All your custom sounds are right where you left them. Similarly, Load User Bank and Save User Bank work the same way, but are for the user patches stored in slots 201 to 300. A great way to save or send a collection of custom sounds to another King Korg user. Again, Load and Save Single Programs work the same way. Whatever patch is currently selected on the King Korg will be saved to your computer, and it can be recalled at a later time. We will discuss the King Korg Bank Manager, Librarian, and Phantom Program Banks later. Please note, if you have a new King Korg, you may wish to perform a Save King Korg Data function as soon as possible. The reason for this will be explained in a later video. Under the Edit menu, you can copy and paste a program, write an edited program to the King Korg, rename a program, initialize a program, and copy and paste timbres from one program to another. Copy and paste program provides one way of moving programs to different storage slots in the King Korg. As an example, you can copy a program, select another location, and select paste a program. You will notice that the name in the list has not changed. That's because the pasted program is residing in an edit buffer. You will hear the pasted sound and can make additional edits, but you will have to write it to the King Korg by selecting Write Program, where you will be presented with a dialog to confirm the location you wish to store it in. Rename Programs presents you with a dialog to change the name. Again, don't forget that you will need to write the program to have the name saved. Initialize program creates a very generic sounding program in the synth as a starting point to create a new sound. Copy timbre and paste timbre allow you to copy the timbre portion of one program and paste it into another. I'll show this feature on another segment. MIDI setup opens the MIDI setup dialog box. We did create an entire video just for the MIDI setup, so please check that out. Global Settings opens a dialog box that allows you to view the global parameters of the King Korg. These include views for Common, MIDI, EQ, Tube, and CV, Favorites, and User Key Tunings. Receive Current Program will bring the current program of the King Korg into the editor. You could use this if you had started to edit the program on the synth and then decided you want to do further, more detailed editing in the editor. Select Receive Current Program and the current state of that program will be imported into the editor. 
Transmit Current Program will simply transmit the current state of the editor over to the current selected program slot in the King Korg. Again, this is one way you can use to change program locations. Receive All Program Data and Transmit All Program Data will transfer all program data between the King Korg and the editor. Useful in getting a large number of programs in sync with a single command. When you select either Receive or Transmit All Program Data, you will be presented with a dialog that you must click the Start button to initiate the transfer. Receive and Transmit User Banks works the same way as Receive and Transmit All Program Data, except it only transfers the user programs 201 to 300. The Parameters menu displays the various elements of the editor and shows the available key commands that will call them up. Across the top of the editor screen is a bar with the element names. Clicking on the name will display that section of the editor. You can also use the slider or the buttons on the end of the slider to advance to the next section. Additionally, you can select the elements of the editor from the Parameters menu or use the indicated keyboard shortcuts. Snapshots is a very cool notepad, if you will, for any patches you are working on that you might need to hold for later recall. This is like a tiny librarian application. Under the Snapshots menu, you have Add Snapshots and View Snapshots. If you wish to save a current program or edit for recall, click Add Snapshot under the Snapshots menu or use the keyboard shortcut. If you select View Snapshots, you can review and recall your saved programs. Once again, sending a program to the King Korg from the Snapshots window is only setting it to the King Korg buffer. Write the program in if you want it to be saved. You also have the option to save a collection of snapshots as a file and recall them by clicking on the File button. In the editing process, we may discover useful sounds along the way. By clicking Add Snapshot or using the keyboard shortcut, all of the sounds you wish to save will be in the Snapshots window. This collection of unique programs can be saved to your hard drive and recalled, again, using standard Save and Load dialogs. I will show a typical use for snapshots in this Sound Generators video. The Templates menu include the opportunity to select various portions of one program and superimpose them over another. We can do this with the components of the arpeggiator, effects, the vocoder, or timbre elements. Let's explore the function by working with the ARP templates. We'll start to use a couple of the pages of the editor to show this feature. If we select French Toast, then turn on the arpeggiator, we will hear a phrase that has been set for this program. If we select the Acoustic Piano program, it also has an arpeggiator pattern associated with that sound, and it sounds like this. If we go to the Templates menu and select ARP Templates, load all the available templates into the list by selecting Load From, then clicking all the options. Don't forget to click on the Auto Send so the new information will be transmitted over to the King Korg when we select it. Currently, the French Toast arpeggiator sounds like this. But if we select the Piano Program 137 from the list, the piano arpeggiator pattern will replace the French toast pattern. Likewise, we could take the acoustic piano program and replace its arpeggiator with the one from French toast. Once again, don't forget these changes will only be in the edit buffer and will be lost when you select a new program. You must write the program to store it for later recall. The Sound Generators menu include Patchmaker, Program Genetics, and Morpher. These three amazing original sound generation tools will be highlighted in a separate video. Don't miss seeing these in action. The Option menu includes Full Screen to expand the editor, Push Escape to return to standard view, and V Piano, which provides an on-screen keyboard for your convenience in testing sounds should the King Korg be out of reach. 
That completes the overview of the menu items of the King Korg editor from Sound Tower. Please watch the other video tutorials in this series for the fabulous King Korg synth.